Hey guys, Dr. Linda Kramer, thank you so much for watching me today. Okay, today is a daily affirmation. I like doing at least one of these a week, okay? So go back through my video list where you can find other daily affirmations that I talk about. Now today's is all about respect. We all deserve respect. We all want it, but sometimes it's very hard to respect other people. And that is what I want to talk to do to about today, as well as how to earn respect. It is work like all the values are. So let's get into my 15 dot points. Here's my notes, because the last one is the doozy. OK, the last one is the doozy. So please watch all 15. The first one is, if you're taking notes, go grab your pen and paper, write these down so we can start working on them, okay? Number one is be truthful. Always look for the honesty. Be honest and transparent with people. You know, there's a big line that says, you know, when you lie, you've got to remember the lie and who you say it to, right? Because then you get caught out, right? So if you're always honest, there's no hiding, okay? Yep, so always try your best to be honest. So how do we do this with other people? When you know someone's lying to their face, to your face, call them out on the behavior and say, look, are you aware that I don't respect you now because you're lying? That shows me that you don't appreciate who I am. So I don't hold any value to you, okay? Number two is ultimately don't judge. Don't judge why others do what they do. And if they do lie blatantly to your face, try and work out, is this something that's going to really impact my own life? Is it something that I can just let go of? And if it's not something that you can freely let go of because it impacts you personally so much, then look at this as a compassionate way to understand why that person was lying to you. So don't judge the behaviors of others when they do what they do. We're all unique. None of us are joined at their hip. And that's something we've all got to remember, right? So don't judge is number two. Number three is to appreciate all things. I always say, go outside and look. The first thing you see out your door, pick it up or look at it and respect it and give it that appreciation and thanks. So I'm looking here at my desk. The first thing I pick up is my mouse. Okay, now I'm going to tell you something about my mouse. It's broken. The bottom falls off. Okay, look, it's a big flap on the bottom because it doesn't stay on anymore. Okay, but I respect this. I look after it. I appreciate that this mouse enables me to control my computer without the old cords because I remember the old cord mouses. I remember before there was mouses where everything had to be on the keyboard, right? So we appreciate that that technology advancement. So therefore, I don't get up it and I don't, you know, I don't get angry with it and I don't say, ooh, you horrible thing. I don't send out that energy to it. I say, thank you so much that I'm still getting use out of you, even though and you're a little bit not as good as what you used to be, okay? So that's that one. So number four, let go of the past. <sighs> you know, depression is something that we get from our past. Anxiety is a illness or debilitation that we get from future events. So when we say let go of the past, it means allow the past to have happened. Be appreciative of what happened. And I've got to go there because some of you watching this are going to say, you don't know what I went through when I was a kid. Guys, we must remember here that when we're kids, we don't have that control. So whatever happened to us as kids was done to us by someone else. So in that case, it's so easy to let that go because it was someone else's issue. Someone else had the problem. Someone else has got to heal their behaviors. We only have to be accountable for our own actions. And as soon as we say to ourselves, 
I did the best that I could in that situation under the circumstances and I'm still here alive today I must have done something right because we always give ourselves that pat on the back so let go of what happened to us in the past don't hang on to grudges don't hang on to regrets don't hang on to all those itty bitty little sniggers that happen like in families especially when you're young or kids playing in the schoolyard with your friends and then you work out they're not really your friends so let go of all those people and events that happened in the past because ultimately as soon as we say I want my future to be better than it was is that's when we're letting go of all those other things okay next one is prioritize your future and how good is this one after number four so we let go of all that stuff from our past and now we're going to make those priorities for our future in the future I want to be this person in the future I want to accomplish all these tasks in the future this is my goals my dreams my hopes so we make those vision boards we use that law of attraction that I've spoken about in other videos go find it it's one of my earliest ones on the bottom of the video list go find it prioritize your future and then we create it into our reality okay so this is where we earn that respect by being who we say we're going to be okay number six be punctual now this morning I've just had to cancel a reading because I've realized I've got a family responsibility at the same time stupid me didn't put it in my diary did I oops so this is where we've got to be punctual and let people know sometimes things happen but in my email to this person I actually said I do not like being the person who is not punctual or reliable so I like being reliable and punctual for people okay so always be on time if you say you're going to be somewhere at six o'clock don't get there fashionably late at quarter past six don't do that game with people if you say you're going to be there at six make sure you're there at six you know I've got a, um, a family member she's always half an hour late with everything I've got a friend who's always half an hour late I've got a neighbor who says they're going to come over and do something and then they don't don't be those people if you're going to say you're going to do something earn that respect by doing it okay we earn respect by doing what we say we're going to be doing so be punctual is number six number seven is apologize if things do go wrong you know hello nothing's set you know so if things go wrong and you've got to be late or something happens and you've got to change an appointment like I've just done this morning always say sorry so in this email to this person I said sorry and thank you because those three words sorry and thank you so it's three words those two courteous and polite comments sorry um, thank you etc are all worthy of our respect them our morals it's our integrity that's being shown okay so number seven if things go wrong always say sorry okay and sometimes it's okay to say sorry but I'm not sorry huh okay because this takes us into number eight which is our boundaries now I love having this one next because when we set those boundaries those rules with other people and we say hey I'm having a party it starts at six please don't be late because the the guest of honor is coming home at quarter past six and he doesn't know so we're all going to jump out of the cupboard and say surprise now what happens if you turn up at 20 past six or you're coming down the street at quarter past six and the guy sees you going to your house and he says oh that's funny why are they going to the house for so this is where we set those boundaries and saying no is okay with those boundaries those rules you know people that come to my house as soon as you know, I'm talking strangers come to my house at the first thing I say to them when they walk in the door I say you treat this house like your own that's my first rule 
And my second rule is, you give me the respect that you have in your own house. Treat this house like your own. My house, my rules. But while you're here, treat it like your own. Because then if they trash the place, you can imagine what their own house is like, right? And that's where you say, huh, I don't think I'm going to have them back now because if they treat their own house like that and then they treat mine like that, are they people I want in my life? No. So it's okay to say no and set those boundaries, okay? And that's why I said in the last one, it's okay to say sorry, but I'm not sorry. Because if some, I've had people, I've kicked them out of my house in the past. And as they leave, they say, oh, Linda, you're over-exaggerating. And I say, get the heck out of my house. Because I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. You're gone. Your behavior in my house is unacceptable. You can do it in your own house. And I respect you. Ha ha ha. I respect what you do in your own house, but you don't get away doing that stuff in mine. Okay? So... It's okay to say no, and it's okay to set those boundaries, okay? Numbers, uh, where are we up to? Number nine, respect those who you don't want to. Like that person I kicked out and I said, look, I respect what you do in your own house. I appreciate that you've got your house. You're doing this and doing that. Thank you for doing it. Thank you, okay? But uh, you don't need to do it here. Okay, one thing I've written down here is that behaviors does not make a person. We've got to remember bad things happen to good people. And we've also got to remember something I do with people. I give people the three strikes and you're out. If I see someone doing something and I just think, huh, I wouldn't do that myself. Then if they do it again, I think, wow, this is now second time. Then they do it the third time and I say, right, this is their actual characters. This is their characteristic. It's not just their personality, okay? Because there is a big difference between characters and personality. So so this is actually their character now coming through. So I don't have that in my house. So see you later. Third strike, you're gone. That's one of my executive decisions that I've made in my life, okay? So that's number nine. Number 10 is take responsibility. This is where we learn our confidence. This is where we learn to stand up for what we believe to be right. Okay? How do we earn respect? Is when we tell others what we take on for our own responsibility. Now, this is where it could come into being sorry. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize what I did was going to cause that reaction. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm taking accountability for what I did. This is like before, right at the beginning when I was saying, talk about number one, being truthful. If you lie to somebody and you get caught out, this is where you take that responsibility and you say to them, you know what? I'm really sorry. Oops, I lied because. I was trying to say face is usually number one. Okay, okay. You know, and it takes a very strong-willed person to admit when they've made mistakes, okay? I personally try to be that person. If I make a mistake, I'm the first one to put my hands up and say, I'm sorry, oops, this is something I don't want to do in my future. Let's work it out now so it's not something I take with me into my future, okay? This is how we earn respect from especially our friends and our loved ones okay number 11 treat others how you would be treated yourself okay would i just go over to my neighbor when he's playing his loud music bang on the door and just start swearing at him saying f off shut up i want to go to bed okay if i had a bad day and i was playing loud music at night Would I want someone to come over and do that when I'm just trying to chill? Obviously, every situation is different. So in this case scenario I've just said, is it something that they do all the time? How long does the music go for? You know, is this a constant thing that they do, right? So we treat others how we want to be treated ourselves. So do I want to be the person who plays loud music keeping my neighbours awake? No. So therefore, I don't play loud music at night, right? But I know around me there's a lot of people now who use who do shift work, 
okay there's a guy across the road he goes to work at midnight and he works until about nine in the morning so he comes home at about 10 and he'll sleep until about six or seven o'clock tonight so i know don't go outside and start mowing when he's just getting into the bed right after his hard night at work so treat others how you want to be treated yourself okay that's simple enough number 12 is never gossip okay i was watching a tv show we've got here it's called the block it goes for oh my god it's been on now for about 20 odd years they get five couples and they all renovate either a unit or a house and then they auction the houses at the end of the series and so every week they renovate a new room right so this event happened in the show last week not that i really watch it i just like watching the room reveals because you know at the end of the at the end of the season all these houses go to auction and they all make millions of dollars right so they were talking about one particular house where um, they're renovating the house so they've got house one house two house three house four house five and something happened to one of the houses the couple that are renovating it and they go up to these people in another house and they said oh did you hear about what happened to people in that house and the guy just looked at the camera and said i don't care as long as i'm doing what i do i'm getting through this with my integrity in check i'm not going to gossip thank you very much i hope that they get out of whatever difficulty they're having but i'm not going to get involved with your drama and that was on australian tv just last week i give that guy so much respect who said that i don't gossip because gossiping is extremely negative look at the ramifications the ripple effect and the consequences of what can happen when we bloody gossip about other people don't do it okay it's not worth the effort okay think of something else to do in your life to take part of your time and effort make your brain active so then you don't have to sit there and talk about other people okay it's not a way of earning trust People will say, oh my God, if she's saying that stuff about that person, what is she saying about me behind my own back? Okay, so think of it that way. How we treat others is what how we want ourselves to be treated. Would you want other people to be talking about you behind your back? No, so don't do it to them either. Okay, so never gossip. Number 13, we've got to remember humility. We're all learning, okay? Don't expect people to be perfect, okay? someone may teach us something that's the other thing on the list okay just remember here that we're all got things that occur to us that we can't control okay don't expect or have uh, um, judgment on why things happen to somebody okay use your humility here be compassionate be empathic with people because the more we're kind to others the more then they're going to earn that respect back to us and be kind back so respect is also about being kind and that's number 13, 14 on my list small acts of kindness okay be kind to other people open a door for someone say thank you ask someone how are you today i love complimenting people now the first thing that we say is when we compliment people we always say oh you've got a lovely smile i love your eyes i go past that and i say oh my gosh i love your shoes i love how your bag matches your belt oh my god those those pants look so comfortable where did you get those from i love your pen um, your, your bag with all those zips on it okay think of something to say to someone that compliments them because what you're doing is you're making them feel great they go off and have this great day and it's that ripple effect that we're creating through that respect okay now number 15 i said it was the doozy right okay let's go there i just got to wipe my eyes oh my gosh number 15 is the doozy be your own coach this is where you pull yourself up every time you open your mouth and you say did i just portray across what i wanted to say did i just communicate in a nice respectful polite manner to that other person or was i condescending was i overbearing was i too funny in a serious situation okay 
So you critically think about all this stuff and you psychoanalyze your own actions. And then at the end of the day, you go into a mirror or you just sit there and have that private chat with yourself. And you say, did I do everything I could have today where I earn that respect from others? And did I do everything in my own power where I could make other people feel that they respect that des- or re- deserve that respect as well? And did I create that ripple effect of love? Because ultimately, respect means that is one of those little words that accumulate with others that all define love. If you've liked today's video and you think, wow, I just learned something, my tip jar is below. Stay tuned. I've got more videos coming. Thanks, guys. Please subscribe and send this to your friends if you think they need to hear it too. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye.